Bertemart is, I think it's what Aucklanders have been missing and wanting. Um, and it's just so much fun to be a part of that fresh new energy that's becoming a part of the city. We've been looking for quite a while to launch our first Ted Baker store in uh, New Zealand and when we were approached by Britomart it definitely resonated with our brand um, from the attention to detail and the history. We were keen to bring Mac down here because one of the things we liked about the atrium is there are a lot of one-off shops. So we've got the Jo Malone, we've got the Mac flagship New Zealand store here. And then we're, we're fortunate enough to be next to other great neighbours like uh, Ted Baker and the Nike store, which are all first for New Zealand. Pretty much probably going to be one of the most thriving shopping districts in Auckland, probably in New Zealand. It's just, it's actually percolating at the moment. It's just got a really good vibe down here. and. We're going to run heaps of events through here and it's just going to be a great spot for retail and for bars and for everything. As each new door opens, the level of people and curiosity into the area increases. So that will naturally continue until all doors are trading, um, but it's the talk of the town. And the three words that we um, basically embraced and, and took as the mantra for what we do here were um, soul, uh, cool and bold and there was a whole lot of thought and um, uh, meat and potatoes around those words. It really became the tripod of, of how we built a brand here. We have this extraordinary opportunity, nine city blocks of incredible old buildings um, that have had a bit of a rough time, they've had rough lives, they were big robust waterfront trading buildings to begin with and they've been kind of tweaked and reoccupied and numerous times uh, in a sort of 130 year lifespan and so we're just the latest part of that. I think that the co-location of, of all of this food and uh, entertainment and uh, retail on top of the rail station and over the road from the ferry and uh, in, right in the middle of the bus interchange is uh, an extraordinary opportunity for uh, you know, a pedestrian based city. You know. And uh, I guess in that respect we might see this as something of a model for the way that Auckland might develop. Peter Cooper and his crew, I think what they're doing down in the Britomart is they're bringing a, a bit of heart and soul back into downtown Auckland. The principle of how they've done it is they've said look we need to create a city centre and the people that you bring in to create that mix is fundamental to how you grow. The idea of putting an advertising agency into Britomart Precinct where you have high fashion retail, you have great F&B, you have facilities like car parking and so forth uh, became our natural desire. It's way more interactive than a traditional relationship. We own a theatre, it's a big outdoor theatre and um, uh, our tenants that we select are really the performers and, and so we're running the theatre, they own the stage, we want them to be stars and um, our job is to simply bring people to, to the theatre. Brutamart is very exciting for us at Les Mills and to be a part of it because um, we sort of see ourselves as the water cooler, if you will, of this community in the sense that people who live here or work here can come out of their work or home or their everyday lives and you're excited to come in and have a good workout, a lot of energy and a really enthusiastic vibe here. That's what the culture that we're looking to create, just to, to be a part of Britomart as a whole and um, just create that ultimate community within the Auckland CBD. When we look into designing a new store for a new city, we look at the history and the background what the city's all about and being at the City of Sales, our store's based around a 1900s cruise ship theme. So throughout the store there's lots of little details which reflect this. Since we moved in with Jo Malone, we've made many more friends down here now. It's just become a real community. The guys in the coffee shop bring coffees in, uh, the sushi people are in and out, the girls are coming in to have their makeup done. We go and have all our coffees and our lunches in, in the local um, cafes and restaurants. It's fantastic. And um, we've made lots of new friends. Um, and it's just great. I mean, and I think it's only going to get better. 
whether it's a restaurant, a bar, the small offices, or a family, one way or the other, Brita Mart has created that environment. You know, it's not a waste field, it, it, it's got a great choice in uh, the retail that we have. Um, it, it, you can't find this retail anywhere in the city, you can't find the restaurants and bars. And I find that people, when they come here, it's a bit like a journey. I love the Brita Mart. I love it as a place to work, but I, I love it as a place to go out as well. I do, it's fun, it's funky, there's heaps of cool little bars. Racket is probably my favourite. I love to sit in the alleyway by the open fire. Even in the middle of winter, it's a great place to have a glass of wine. I guess the exciting thing for, for me being uh, living in Auckland and, and being involved in, in the arts is to see that Britomart has, has um, actively encouraged live music for a start um, and many, many different ways of, of being entertained in the evening. You can now come to Britomart and have a coffee at six in the morning, you can have breakfast at eight, you can have lunch at five or six different great places, you can then have an after work drink, you can then have a really great meal of four or five different genres, then you can dance and then you can party and then you can be drinking cocktails at four o'clock in the morning and you can start the whole thing over again. As I looked around the city to try and really find opportunities, I came across Britomart I looked at a lot of things and the more I you know, thought about the buildings here, the more this idea came to me. And so I spent probably um, two years talking with the council officers at the time about it and um, educated them a lot on what we'd done in Texas, actually had them, took them to Texas so they could uh, see it firsthand. And that influenced them so that um, finally succeeded in um, winning the right to be uh, the developer. So this is unique in terms of a precinct multi-building issue where we're marrying both heritage and modern buildings in the same area as a revitalization project. You know, PIP was really um, hugely instrumental in us um, winning and then being able to negotiate the um, uh, private-public partnership with Auckland City Council. So the bid uh, was assembled as a financial uh, component but also this urban design component so uh, how can we restore these buildings how can we restore this whole precinct how can it relate to the waterfront and how can it relate to the rest of the city these were kind of core issues and at the end of the day it was a, a negotiation between PIP on our behalf and, and the architects on their behalf in terms of what was going to be the um, prescription of what would be done here I think for Peter Cooper uh, you could see Britomart as a re-engagement in New Zealand that he took off, I guess, for 15 years ago or something, um, and has done some extraordinary things in the United States. We had um, developed um, this place called South Lake Town Square in Texas, and uh, it was about 130 acres, so it was a very large uh, development, and we'd learned a lot from that. And what it's bringing back is, um, obviously some capital, but, but more importantly, I think, intellectual capital. And, you know, that really shows itself in, in the kind of holistic uh, vision that he has for Britomart, and that, you know, he's engendered in, in the Cooper & Company uh, in the way that it's structured, for example, so that there is a single um, agency which is caring for the precinct. I think the wonderful thing that has occurred as a byproduct of having to um, develop this um, quite large area of downtown is that I've had to create a team of people um, and I had to have people that took personal ownership and uh, uh, our organization is incredibly um, hands-on and uh, you know everyone cares about this place as much as I do they have all become leaders in their own right they've all grown tremendously uh, as I've grown through doing this we were very focused on events because we think that's what drives people and with what we did in America, we found that our success was that people would say, um, when they thought about what they would do for the weekend or a night, they'd say, well, let's just go to South Lake because there's always something happening. So that's what we want the Britomart to be. So people will say, if we want to do something, let's go to Britomart.